this is a tutorial to walk you through um, Adobe Illustrator um, as it pertains to graphic design. And here we go. So here we got our computer. Let's assume you've got it installed. So we're starting after you've got Adobe installed. So if it's installed, uh, you should be signed in. All right, and here's the cloud right here. And this is just where all the Adobe apps kind of live in their own little program, okay? We're gonna be using Illustrator, but <clears throat> you can also get to them um, you can also get to them here in a finder window, right? And then you open your finder window uh, and you can go to applications and you'll see your Adobe stuff there as well as all your other programs, okay? And um, again, finder, you get to by this little icon right here. I have my uh, dock set to hide and um, about the dock, you can put whatever programs you want or take away from here. So I've got um, Adobe Illustrator right here as well and you can just open it up and then push to keep it in there. But let's go ahead and open it from here, from the applications. And this is the icon right here. Okay, and here we go. So I've got some things uh, here that I've worked on or student work uh, that I've you know been used recently. And it'll show your recent documents here. So as you use this, it'll start populating this. But here is our uh, opening screen here, okay? So let's go ahead and hit Create New. It's got all these little shortcuts as well, but I'll, I'll just go to Create New. This is the standard place to go. And the first thing you wanna know is what you're making, okay? And we're just gonna start off with a basic um, image. So uh, we're gonna use just a letter, a uh, size paper. But if you go to Print, we've got all our kind of fast options here and some presets and all this stuff. Um, usually we're just gonna be using letter or t tabloid or kind of the main two that I use. So I'm gonna open a letter size document and here's the specifications about it. I don't really worry about any of this. I can, I can turn it to inches if I wanna see the eight and a half by 11. For me, points don't really help me uh, for what I do. Uh, I'm gonna make it landscape just cause I think it's gonna fit our screen better and you can control that right here. Okay, you don't need to really worry about artboards or anything to begin with, okay? Uh, bleeds and all that, don't worry about any of that stuff, okay? I'm just, I would just concern myself with the size and the orientation right now, okay? And I'm gonna hit create. And here we go. So let's talk about Illustrator. So let me reset this to, um, let me see, my workspace, there we go. And I'm gonna reset it to like, I think how it would kind of show up for somebody just getting into it. Reset essentials. Okay, so I think that's how it starts. I'm not sure because I've been using this for a while and I don't remember exactly where it starts, but let's say it starts like this. Okay, things we wanna be aware of. We've got a toolbar here. Okay, and you can move these things around. I just moved it out. Um, you can move it around or whatever. Let's put it there. Um, this is your main document. The size you see isn't necessarily the size it has to be, but we'll we'll get into that later. You've got your menu up here, okay? Um, I usually call this the file menu, so if I say that, that's what I'm referring to, just because it's always got file in it to start with. But it's really just a menu for Illustrator. And you've got Windows, okay? All this stuff over here doesn't really show up so well in this setting, but I'll show you in a sec. Let me maximize this. And another thing, let's go back to the dock real quickly. So Illustrator will be there now, but you can right click on it and you can go to options and you can put keep in dock. And that way it'll stay here. And then now you'll see it's gonna move over right there. Okay, so windows. So these change pretty much. I always leave my tools here and my document here and we're gonna get another settings thing up there, but the windows change according to what I need. So for what we're gonna do, we're gonna have uh, certain windows open and other ones closed, like libraries here. I'm just gonna close this, we don't need this now. Uh, properties, we don't need right now. Layers, I would always keep open, okay? But all our windows, we can set up here under window, okay? So the first thing you really gotta remember here is whenever you need a certain window, you can find it here, okay? So before we do that, let's go ahead and hit control, okay? So under window, control, and we want to make sure this bar is open. This gives us different options and ways to manipulate our tools, okay? And you can see something's changing here as I switch tools, but that's what we need this open, okay? 
let's get a couple other ones open. And again, you can open these and close these as you need them. I like to keep them, and most people do, on the right side. It's kind of just standard. And we just open and close what we need. So let's go ahead and open up color. And you can go ahead and arrange it how we want. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it right there. So look, if I move this window, I pick it up by this gray bar up here. And I can move it and you can see right here, it's gonna go inside right there, the other, um, the other layer. But here I can put it, and I can put it right above. Okay, so now I've got these colors here. Now I like to change this and have it to RGB. So one thing about our windows is we've got, so all of them have this little uh, little drop down menu right here. So I'm gonna go to color here. I'm gonna go to this drop down menu and I'm gonna go to HSB. It's just the way I like to control my windows or my color window, okay, HSB. So I'm gonna keep it there. Let's go ahead and get another one. So I got my color, my layers, color guide, I don't really need right now. So I can take this out and just put it away. Not horrible to have out or anything, but I'm just trying to simplify things and to show you, you can move things and put them away. Uh, another one we're gonna put up here is, let's see, got my layers. I want my swatches, that's what I'm looking for. Swatches, there we go. All right, and these are kind of like the, uh, and here I got brushes and symbols with them. I'm gonna take these out by just clicking on the name, dragging it out, and then closing it, okay? And I'll put swatches up above that. Okay, so I've got different colors I can select. And look, I can go ahead and, if I move my cursor down to the bottom of that window, I can go ahead and make it bigger or smaller. Or, you know, if this one, look, I can do that and I have more uh, color, the ability to pick more colors here, or co pick them easier at least. But I'm gonna close it like that. I don't, if I would need to open it, I can. But layers, I'm gonna keep and give that the most space right here, okay? So, just a little thing on how to arrange the windows you want. Okay, so once again, we've got our tools, and we change these to do different things, and we'll learn uh, about these as we go. Okay, but this is the first thing you need to know. And your you need your control right there, that control bar, because that's gonna help us control our tools, okay? We've got our document. This first little bar, the home and the arrange doc, we can just, I, I usually just leave this and just kind of arrange things by hand, okay? Uh, and the other thing we need to be aware of is our windows and where to get them, okay? And that's all under windows right here. We can get any windows we need, okay? And let's see, that's about the basics here. Some other things you might want to do, let's see, uh, Command R, all right, you hit on the keyboard. We can also go to View Rulers and Hide Rulers or Show Rulers, so I can do that. View Rulers, Show Rulers, and that can get us a rule which allows us to bring out guides and things that we'll need later, but you can turn that on and off. And kind of a big one, okay, so this is a, the basic basics of uh, Illustrator is how to zoom in and out, okay? Now, there is a zoom tool right here on the bottom of our toolbar, but I would never recommend using that. I would always use my keyboard with my other hand, okay? So if you have a, a pen, a stylus, you know, a, a Wacom tablet pen, or if you have a mouse, you have that in one hand, and your other hand should always be on the keyboard. And you can hold, I hold command with my thumb, and I'm doing this on the uh, right side of the keyboard, plus command minus. Okay, that's gonna be how we zoom in and zoom out. Kind of, you have to just get used to that. And that just becomes like um, second nature to go ahead and kind of hit those like that. The other thing we wanna be aware of is I kind of move my thumb over or I can use my finger, whatever you want, whatever's comfortable. But I can move the document around. Now it's not gonna look like much right now because there's nothing on it. But I can move around by holding that down and going to the hand tool which is also in here, but again, I never, I don't even know where it is in here. There it is, under the zoom tool, right? And H is a shortcut for that. But I get these I don't even use because the shortcuts on the keyboard are way faster. So highly recommend, almost require, pretty much require that you just gotta know how to do this in the keyboard, all right? So that's command plus to zoom in, command minus to zoom out, and the hand tool to move around, okay? And that's gonna do it for, I think, our basic um, tutorial here on just how to get just oriented in, in Adobe Illustrator. And the next tutorial, we'll start learning the basic tools and how to start making shapes and doing some of the things, right? But this is just a little intro into the program uh, for your uh, benefit, or hopefully it helps you, all right? Uh, catch you on the next tutorial.